हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एबसेक थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टू सम टाइम दैट कैन फील्ड पैरामीटर्स कैन वर्क विद द पावर बीआई डेटा सेट नाउ पावर बीआई डेटा सेट व्हिच इज पब्लिश एंड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इट बैक कैन फील्ड पैरामीटर वर्क्स विद दैट सो लेट मी गो टू द पावर बीआई एंड लेट मी ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट यूज केस यू आर आस्किंग सो व्हाट हैपेंस राइट राइट नाउ दिस डेटा सेट इफ दिस इज माय जेनेरिक डेटा सेट व्हिच आई एम यूजिंग for in most of my videos and you might have seen that i have a sales table joined with the date table on sales date and then uh, this is also joined with the um, item on item id customer on customer id and geography on geography id perfect star schema with the majors like net gross etc working perfectly fine date table is also marked as date table and working fine now here uh, what happens those of you who are aware in may 2022 we got field parameters and under the modeling you have something known as field fields which is actually going to help you in field creating field parameter field parameter can give us dynamic axis as well as dynamic value means majors now what i'm going to do is if you have not watched my previous video please go ahead and watch i have created quite a few videos on field parameters so i'm going to quickly take you through the field parameters so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to create the field parameters and then i'm going to create the visual so fee i click on fields and i'm going to create first of all axis parameter so i'm going to call it as axis and then i'm going to drag my axis which my axis are going to be brand category sub category state and city this these are the things which i want my on my axis and they should be dynamic so i'll say create and then there is an option add slicer to the page i'll keep it so that it add the slicer i renamed it and this is i'm creating field parameter the other option is number and i'm going to click on the create button so create button will create an axis parameter now whether it is an axis or whether it is a major just the content is going to define i got an slicer let me have this slicer as is now because i'm going to create one more and then we are going to create our visual so i go back to the modeling tab again under the uh, in the power bi and then i go to the new fields again and inside the fields this time i'm going to call it as major and because i already have majors they there so let me call it major slicer and i'm going to bring in some majors and i have quite a few base majors which are net gross cogs margin percentage discount percentage and the good advantage when i use margin and discount percentage they do show as percentage that was a problem with the older major slicer but that has been removed with the dynamic formatting now we will take that in uh, some different um, video so now again we check we let that checkbox be there and now we have created this now let me create a visual and show you what how this is advantageous so what happens here let's say i want to create a visual so i let's me go ahead and try to create a matrix visual okay so in the matrix visual what i can do here is basically i can go ahead and say add the row in that one i can go add an axis and then in, in the values i can go ahead and i can go to the major slicer and add the major slicer just have a look at it what kind of table it creates just for your reference but please my advice would be please watch the older video and similarly for the axis please have a look at the table which has been created now i'm not going to explain you the functionality now if i click here now and you can make it single select if you want now then i get this if i select multiple values i can get those values if i select margin i do get percentage i can keep on changing it based on that now this is a great functionality provided to the users and they will get a lot of flexibility like you know they can you know simply go ahead and you know have this and this maintains the order which i click first and which i click second now this is a great functionality to have but most of the time these functionality work on import mode and if you would have remember our design pattern is that we are not going to create any visual on the data set file so if it is a data set file i'm not going to create any visual in that that's what the call is so then how do i going to do that because if it doesn't work the field parameter doesn't work with the data set then i'm not going so is it a true statement or is this func uh, has been removed at least for the power bi data set and when i'm talking about i'm talking about power bi data set i'm not talking about the live connection to azure analysis services which right now is not part of this video we you can consider that out of scope for this video so what you are going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this one and let me publish this file now this file which i am publishing already have a data set already have field parameters so this data set file which is going to be created will have the data set and i have actually wanted to rename it so let me say save as 
and in the same as let me call it as data set with a field parameters. So that I can identify it. Okay. So this is there. Let me publish this fine. So when I publish, I'll publish it in my demo workspace. And this is getting published. So now once this publishing is done, then okay, so that is done now. What I would like next thing to do is I would like to create a new file. So I go file and new. It's going to take a little bit of time to open this new file. But while it is opening, let me tell you what I wanted to do. I wanted to get this uh, parameter, uh, the live connection basically and try to see whether it is working on. So the new file has opened on my uh, other window. I bought it here now. Let's see, is there an option? Direct option is not there. So let's go and say Power BI dataset. Now when I go to Power BI dataset based on my login, it's going to show me and it do show me 80 small with field parameters and connect. Now, once I bring in these tables, see these tables are no more showing me like, you know, any kind of a special table. If you look at here, they do are showing the calculated tables and these three. But if I come here, uh, these three doesn't show me any behavior like a calculated table. But I still I'll go and bring in X's here and then I'll say, okay, this is my slicer. And let me bring it here. If you remember, we were here. Now I go to the major slicer and I bring it here again. And let me do it the slicer like this. Now what I need to bring in a matrix visual and we will play around with more visuals. So I bought matrix visual and I say add axis axis and the, the, the this too seems like something is working here. Now rem, uh, I have done once one experiment where actually it did not work for me for the first time but I removed it and I added it and it did work. So if I take brand now you can see my axis is on brand. If I choose cogs, it is cogs. If I choose gross, it is gross. If I choose net, it is net. If I choose margin, it is margin. And you can see the numbers and the totals are changing. I can select multiple of them. And I can select the sequence of brand and this is the sequence. So if I go here and expand it in the same order, it is coming. Now let's go ahead and change it to a different visual and see does it work on those kind of visuals. So let's see does it work for cluster column chart. And you can see it do work for cluster column chart and I can have one major at a time to make sure that it looks much better visual. And then I can expand it here further. And you can see it is still working. And to make sure that this is a live connection, I can show you. So I say go to data source setting. Uh, it directly opens this uh, data hub. Second, when I try to open the transform data, it do take ask me to take, uh, add to the local model and third thing which you can notice here that I do not have any uh, data view here which is sometime also true with direct query but it is true specifically with this one. So you don't have, see any data view here. So there is not three actually there are two only model view and when we go to the model view you click on any of the table. You don't see any property. You don't see any advanced mode and everything. You don't have an access. And even if you click on that, see, even in direct query, I do have an option to create table here. I don't have an option to create a table. I can only create a major. So I am working on live model and I'm still able to use this with my data set, which is, which is already having field parameter. Please remember the field parameters part of the original data set. I'm not able to create field parameters in live connection. But I'm able to use the field parameters, which is part of my data set in live connection. So that feature is, is available. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.